We have a banking system here. Uh, we've got two parts of a $12,000 loan, um, and the interest rate for that in two parts is 8% per year, and the rest is 18%. The interest rate total for a single year equals $1,000. Uh, what? How much of the loan was at 8%? So pretty much what this says is here's x plus y is equal to 12,000. And then what we have here is um, point, we'll just make x the 8%. It doesn't matter for whether which one we make y or x, just as long as we stay consistent. So this ends up being 1,000. So we can substitute either way. I can just make y is equal to 12,000 minus x, so 0 0.08x plus 0.18 times 12,000 minus x. That's, I derived that up here because this became, I subtracted x from the other side, I get y is equal to 12,000 minus x, and then I use it to substitute in the second equation, and all this is equal to 1,000. So what ends up happening here, we get 0.08x um, plus point. Second. So what I end up with is 2,160 minus 0.18x is equal to 1,000. So I subtract 2.160. So I end, and then I subtract 0.18 from 0.08, and I get negative 0.1x is equal to negative 1, 160, and then I divide through by negative 1, to a negative 0.1. And what I end up with is x is equal to 11,600. So that's the money, because I set x equal to the 0.08, that's the money that was loaned out at 8%. Who knows why the 18% was loaned out if they needed that extra bit to get something done. You could figure this out by just plugging this in for x in the first equation and subtracting it from 12,000, then y would be equal to 400, but that's not what you're looking for. So the answer to this is $11,600 was loaned out at 8%. That's it.